there's a lot of unwillingness to admit that um, you're being influenced by a very specific narrative that's been blaring through the news forever. Yeah. You know? And the weirdest one is now, like, some people are banding about the idea that he actually is going to be a dictator when he gets into office. Yeah. He's actually, you got to listen to him. He's actually going to be a dictator. Like, first of all, the guy talks basically like a stand up comic. He has bits, (laughs) he has routines he does about Biden. It's it's kind of like gonzo presidential, you know, talk. He's not, he doesn't talk like a regular politician. He says wild shit. And they know he's saying wild shit. But it's like, the amount of times I've heard people say that he's going to be a dictator now because of that. He said, I'd like to be a dictator for one day, just one day. <laughs> it's like the guy's like, it's almost like he's doing stand up. But do you think that they believe it or the they- problem is, and Elon pointed out this, we, well, the thing, the problem with this argument is he was president right. for four years. Why didn't he do it then? And he did nothing <laughs> that resembled that at all. No, but it's the second term that he'll do it. This is crazy talk. Yeah. You, based on what? Your fear, of your hatred, your tribal yeah. hatred. Like, I don't, I don't have a dog in this fight. Well, I've, if I'm looking at it objectively, I'm like, the, one guy can't talk anymore. Yeah, I, I, I've explained in the parasitic mind why they have the aversion that they have. I call it an aesthetic injury, right? Because people use use these cosmetic reasons in making judgments. So. Barack Obama might say nothing of substance, but my God, he says it with style and coolness, right? He's tall. Statesman. Statesman. He smiles. He's got a mellifluous voice. He speaks with a baritone. You know, he's, he's charming. On the other hand, Trump, you know, he's overweight. He's cantankerous. He's, he seems like he speaks with this Queen's kind of accent. So he's, he's disgusting. I revile him. Right. And so I think for our anointed elites, if he can ascend to the highest position of power, it invalidates all the degrees that I have from the fancy schools. I'm supposed to be the anointed one. And so he serves as an existential aesthetic injury. I can't have that. And therefore, I have to come up with all of these crazy predictions because it can't be. How could such a pig ever be president? It's also, it's like, it's a real easy narrative. It was like he's an easy guy to hate. His billionaire lives in a golden house. <laughs> right. You know, it's easy to hate pe- people like that. It's easy. He says ridiculous shit. It's easy to hate people like that. Yeah. The whole thing's a mess. But like you, you wish you had some sort of, and that's where AI comes in. God, that's just, this is where AI comes in. Okay. Some really rational, super intelligent voice that really understands human politics. There's a way to make everyone happy. <laughs> and then we have President AI. Maybe uh, Trump is what brings in the devil because Trump brings in President AI. From your lips to God's ears, they say. You know, I don't mean him. I mean like the re- reaction to him. That we can never have this again. Are you able to, or not able, so are they you- just launch it. Launch presidential AI. <laughs> Are you willing to make a prediction uh, for 2024? No. Why no. would I do that? Right. I don't even know who the fuck's going to make it there. One of them might be in jail. Right. Who knows if the other guy's going to make it? I don't know. You know, I mean, the whole thing is cuckoo. Yeah. President AI is our only solution, Gad. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's start working on it. Well, let's call Elon. He can maybe help, help I, us. That it, it would be the worst thing that could ever happen to people. If we gave up, we were like, take us away, technology daddy. Right. You fix it for us. Then we're really going to be slaves. We're really going to be in a matrix. They'll just keep us stupid. Just keep us stupid and get we, us to stop breeding. We could never be stupid while we have the Joe Rogan Yeah, podcast. we could. Yeah, 100% we could. We're, <laughs> we're all going to give into it. It's going to be better than regular life. That's what the fear is. Ooh. 